Photography was well advanced by the year of 1863, but then the reign of dear Queen Victoria witnessed many advances. That kind summer saw us journeying in Switzerland, the first organized party to visit that bountiful land. The ghost of Miss Jemima speaks, a young lady whose Swiss holiday is recreated a century later. That long time hasn't spoiled Swiss cheese, nor the art of melting it. It's called raclette, but I will tell of a banquet. Salmon with cream sauce, boiled fowl served on rice, sweetbreads, roast fowl with salad, artichokes, plum pudding steeped in brandy truly worthy of applause, and ripe cherries. But let us get on with the story, Miss Jemima. Let us see the girl who plays your part. But where, Mr. Brinton? In her bedroom, Miss Jemima. We're allowed a brief glimpse. The world has changed in a hundred years, and anyway, we must mention the diary you so carefully kept, recording each occasion, like the dancing at Vevey. It seems the world has changed not as much as you say. And there are you, not looking much out of place. But that casts a shadow when the sun shines, a modern man-made mountain that confronts those which nature built. I find nature a better builder, Mr. Brinton. Oh, surely that's the air. So many memories return. My word, she plays me well, Mr. Brinton. You admired Mont Blanc, Miss Jemima, but a changed world can give you a changed look. Look at that massive mountain from an aeroplane. You're silent, Miss Jemima. With wonder, Mr. Brinton. Planes weren't invented in 1863, but led by an excursionist named Thomas Cook, you and your party enjoyed no mean amount of transportation. From rack and pinion engines that climbed steep gradients, you were carried even higher. As your three weeks journey progressed, you progressed from the top of the world to sparkling lakes. You sailed them in barges to cross from shore to shore to resume your Victorian tour of Switzerland in postal coaches. But where are the coaches going, Mr. Brinton? Where you went, Miss Jemima. Where in 1863 you had to walk the Gemi Pass. Oh, how hard we were put to it to discover a path or to understand how we should reach its summit. It was about here, on the 3rd of July, that some members who had got ahead of our party assailed us with a shower of snowballs. We retaliated, but unfortunately struck the professor. <laughs> Miss Jemima, can we be wrong about Victorian ladies? Were you not demure, as your counterpart seems to suggest? We were, as the occasion demanded, Mr. Brinton. <laughs> oh, they're a gemi wagon, aren't they? Whatever the gradient, the gemi wagon passenger was kept in horizontal position by turning that handle. That's right, isn't it? Perfectly correct, Mr. Brinton. You seem very well informed. Informed by you, Miss Jemima. After all, I've read that diary of yours very thoroughly. Fond of Wordsworth, weren't you? How did he describe the Staubach Falls? And like a downward smoke, 
the slender stream along the cliff to fall and pause and fall did seem. Icy streams brimming with trout. And fresh trout to eat. What meal succeeded each new sight of Switzerland? What sights succeeded each new meal? The moonlit Chateau de Chillon, a fairy tale castle lapped by Lake Geneva. But there's another half light sight that tourists still clamor for sunrise over the Rigi. Three o'clock, the arousing notes of the horn were heard. Truly, it was an effectual awakener, for in less than ten minutes, the whole hive had swarmed. In silence, we gazed as daylight awoke. One alphorn to sound Revelli, more to herald the sun's climb, and a fanfare to send the party on their way, for they've almost come to the end of their stay in Switzerland. Far away, the American Civil War is being fought. But here, everything in the garden is lovely. Nice, Miss Jemima? Mm, indeed, Mr. Brinton. The world has changed, Miss Jemima. You might not be happy if you live today. I should be happy here. I should be happy in company with people like those. But clothes don't make those people Victorians. Their values are different. They set their sights differently. So I see, Mr. Brinton. Hey, Miss Jemima, Miss Jemima, come back. Oh, well, she's vanished, as ghosts do vanish. But maybe I'm the ghost, because this health bath scene at Leukerbad could only have happened nearly a century before I was a baby. They christened Tim. <laughs> <laughs>